Hello. Hi. Hi. This is our new old van. An oldie but a goodie. 2012 L300 Mitsubishi. So it's been modified to have nice tall ceilings. Perfect for our home away from home. Yes, we're going to turn this into a... Cam. Perfect. <laughs> it's yeah. been life that's now or never. Hi everybody, so we just wanted to share with you our, our new camper van experience. As we peeked out into the world last week to start looking for a used vehicle to turn into a camper van like this one, we encountered tragedy um, all over the place and families are stricken even beyond the virus itself. So much is happening now, the far reaching effects uh, economically. There's people losing their family businesses. It's a Mitsubishi L300. It's like a utility vehicle here in the Philippines. Uh, very common, very simple, but reliable. The roof's been raised, so Bing can stand in it. I can almost stand in it. I can stand. And it's been made to specs for a person with disabilities. There's a, there's a ramp going down the back door so you can get a wheelchair right up in here. And it was created for a man that was a Filipino, but he had moved to Canada and he wanted to come spend his final days with his daughter and his grandchildren. So he sent the money over so they could have this thing built to their own personal specifications. And he wanted to go home, but there was no way because there are no flights from the U.S. coming to the Philippines. And he never made it. He died in December. He didn't die of COVID but he had a heart attack, but they couldn't take him home here in the Philippines. It's a brand new build. It's an, it's an older truck. It's a 2012, but it, it runs like it's brand new. And this whole back area is brand new. They never got to use it, and he never got to come home and see his family. We really had our hearts set on this. We didn't know the whole story of what had happened, but when we were looking at it, there was really, we were always coming back to this vehicle. You know, we looked at other stuff, but we always came back to this one. And then one day uh, when, we, when we called them up, when we were out of lockdown finally, we could kind of actually move around and get up to Manila to see it. We called him, he said, well, I have someone else coming to look at it. I don't know if he's gonna buy it. So then we thought, oh great, so this might get sold. We can't get attached to it. And so we started looking for other options and we were led to a guy who owns a fleet of 15 buses that are for passengers. But then tragedy also struck his family, his daughter had a premature baby and uh, they had to pay off the hospital. They had lost quite a fortune of his savings and they ended up putting his vehicles for sale so that they could have collateral for the hospital so that they could take the baby home. And so Miriam being a premature child herself and us going through the tragedy of also losing our almost seven month old baby one month ago it just tugged at our heartstrings tragedy everywhere camper van life is something that we both had in our hearts and i've had it in my heart for a long time it's one of those bucket list things but i never really talked about it because i never thought that bing would be open to it <laughs> and bing started talking about it one day <laughs> and i thought oh that's interesting <laughs> So as we heal from our own tragedy, you know, um, and I build this out, and with these new lessons, it's like you have to live your passions, you know, you have to live how you feel alive inside, and you have to make a way, and you know that God's going to be with you because God created those passions within you, you know. God put those things in your heart. And so in our daughter's honor, who we took out of being a month ago, we're going to build something beautiful and, and we're going to use it as a family and we're going to use it to reconnect with God and his creation. You know, the beauty of a camper van, you know, let's, let's be honest, you know, like we're all, we all have cabin fever. Everybody wants to get out and travel, but who, who really wants to go to a hotel? I mean, you're going to bring your own pillow. You're going to, you're going to get in there with a Lysol bottle. <laughs> Even with us, you know, we had to, <laughs> we had to make sure everything was uh, nice and clean. 
But with a camper van, I mean, you could go somewhere. You don't want to be around people. You want to be around creation. You want those picturesque spots where you can just park it and get out under the awning, you know, and cook your food out there and just enjoy God's creation. Live the simple life. And live the simple life and, and get back to the basics. Get back to what it's all about. So this is a time in our lives where even though this was built for, for that 78 year old man, I, I can't stop thinking that it was built for us. This is a brand new build and he never got to use it. And God works in mysterious ways. So we are gonna honor him to the best of our abilities with using this. And we're, we're really excited about it. And we'll keep you posted, I'm sure, as, as the build you know, progresses. I'm ready to start tearing things out. All this upholstery, all this stuff that you see. Yeah, that Miriam's touching. <laughs> it's all going. You know, we gotta get it back down to the basic structure there and start building from that spot. So keep it posted. What does Miriam think of the camper van? It's nice. It's nice? Yeah. You get to like about the rock. Murphy bed that folds down this way and lands on this landing here so the bed will be across the whole thing at night and this is a sofa so during the day it's a sofa but at night when we remove the cushions and the bed comes right across to the kitchen so this is the cabinet side we got some progress done there and we have Bing out here hard at work standing Good. Yeah, we're getting motivated, we're getting to it. Uh, bringing the dream to reality. So we're getting pretty excited here, building out the kitchen. This is the kitchen countertop. And most of our major ingredients have arrived through Lozada. So, today's arrival was bittersweet. We have our kitchen sink. It's gonna go here. And it's a special fold down sink, fold down faucet. So, we'll actually be able to utilize, you know, the faucet goes down and then we'll have a cover that, that hinges up that came with tempered glass that shattered during the delivery. But we don't care because we didn't want that glass anyway with a four-year-old mischievous child uh, jumping around on furniture all the time. I'm sure she's gonna be climbing onto this countertop. So this is where the tempered glass was. See how it, it hinges. So what we're gonna do is uh, take out the rest of the glass, of course, and we're gonna make a nice uh, top ourselves out of probably wood and epoxy. You know, you can flip this down, and then uh, once that flips down, oops, this way. see that, how it flips down? And then you'll be able to use the rest of the countertop, which is really important for us. We wouldn't have been able to fit a regular sink faucet here, so it's pretty cool. We were able to get this, and yeah, we're glad that the tempered glass broke because we would have been excited to kind of use it because it kind of looks cool, but it came in about 53,000 pieces. So, <laughs> can't use it, <laughs> and we're, nope. we're grateful for that. We're going to build our own, and it'll be solid, and it'll be made out of wood, so nobody's going to shatter it. 
So, yeah, that's our project. I'm just going to build out the rest of the countertop right now as we speak. And then, we'll show you the progress. Okay. Sending love from the Philippines. Woo! Wow.